Welcome to Yoga Express, your personal stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh and I'm your host for this program. This yoga fitness program is filmed in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. We air five days a week, Monday through Friday at 1.30 in the afternoon, Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. We have a, a wonderful support system for you. Besides this program, we have a website, www.yogaexpress.com, and we have a blog, that's yogaexpress.blogspot.com. And if you go through the blog and the website, you will get a very good idea, a very good sense of our discussions that we have here, right here on air. Before I go ahead, before we start stretching, I'd like to introduce you to our wonderful cast right here. Our participants to my immediate left, we have Talisa Michela. I have finally perfected the art of saying her name correctly. Correct. Talisa, I know, uh, you're probably not ready to talk about it yet, but you were talking about something very exciting, uh, an exciting project. Don't tell us any specifics, but is it something you can show us at some point? I will be able to show you guys at some point what I'm done, when my, um, my friend is done with it. Wonderful. Um, it's a nice little um, ongoing thing that's been going on for two years, but I've just been, been honored to be a part of it now. Yeah. So I'm really excited. Um, it's something to do with my acting, so I'm really excited Great. about going yeah. forward with this. Yeah. And have you done many acting roles before? Not many, much more of a stage um, okay. setting for class, um, for improv, and just basic acting skills. So it's been very much glad to see some progress here. We are looking forward to showing a few clips someday when we have a big crew and you are here as well. Maybe we can just show a few of your clips whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Okay. It's great. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. To my immediate right, we have our crazy friend, Josian Hur. Josian, <laughs> thank you for coming back. One more time, remember what we said. We always have new viewers, so we want to reintroduce you. So please, tell them um, a little more about Okay, you. between martial arts, belly dancing, boxing, sailing, um, there are quite a few. Uh, my, my link was, of course, yoga. yoga. That's <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much for coming back. Josian and I have a common dislike of balanced postures, <laughs> but at times, sometimes you have to do what you don't like to get to what you like, to continue doing what you actually like. So we will not skip those. But I just want to share that with you because during balanced postures, you might notice that we might fall out of it a little earlier than other participants. If that happens to you, learn to forgive yourself. I know we forgive ourselves, so just keep moving on. To my extreme right, we have Jamie Avery. Jamie is a producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Jamie, yeah, you've been with us before. You haven't been with us in a while, please. Uh, I've them. currently been involved in, um, actually, in real estate development and finance. Um, nice. We're working on a project that concerns ethanol and green developments, um, green building green technology. Do you know right. ethanol is a fuel to replace uh, petroleum oil, and it's made wow. from farm waste. I knew it was a There's fuel. A I didn't know it was a Yeah, that we can make gasoline from uh, dry and wet farm waste, and right. uh, it burns clean and pure, saves the planet. Um, and there's actually legislation um, to support this that mandates okay. each state awesome. to use 15% of ethanol in the gasoline product. So it's, it's a really good project. I'm really glad to be a part of it. Actually, one of my shows is going to be aired where I interview the, the developer themselves. And right. It's, wow. it's so wonderful. So <laughs> nice to have you. Jamie, it's amazing. <laughs> You are so passionate about your project. I can see your eyes light up talking about ethanol. How passionate can you get about ethanol? <laughs> but you know what? That's Jamie. Jamie can get passionate about everything. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful to have you back on the show, Jamie. And I'm hoping that 
at some point uh, I'm hoping that you'll keep coming back but also at some point you can educate us a little more about your projects as well so one of these days we'll get a little deeper oh, yeah, into that yeah, we'll that. we'll dedicate special episodes the beginning of each one um, one of the special episodes can be dedicated to Talisa's work one day Josiane one day you so we'll talk a little bit about each person's special uh, expertise uh, well thank you so much for coming back so what we're gonna do for our viewers we're gonna get into the sun salutation with a twist and you might notice I just changed my postures but you might have noticed that I was also sitting the way Talisa and Jamie are sitting that's called Vajrasana Vajra is diamond when you sit on your knees when you sit on your heels basically you want to keep your palms especially if you're going to meditate you want to keep your palms facing down thumb and index finger touch each other and you keep it down it helps you internalize the experience. When you sit cross-legged, the way Josie is sitting and the way I sometimes do to give myself some relief at the ankles, you want to keep, and if you want to start getting a little meditative, you want to keep your palms open. So this is a receptive posture. This is the posture where you're giving out. It doesn't matter what the interpretation, the idea is to show you how to internalize the experience. So we're gonna take you through the sun salutation with a twist. We'd like to start with, is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get started. A big, big moment, a special episode dedicated to sun salutation. Our version. Heels are together. Let's come back. Let's tagger ourselves. Josine, why don't you come forward? Josine, you can, uh, Jamie, you might want to come back. And Talisa's forward. Heels are together, toes are apart, palms by your side. Let's just inhale, bring your palms in front of your chest in what's called Namaste. Namaste or Namaskarasan is prayer posture. Close your eyes for just a few seconds. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Focus. Send your mind's eye where the mind goes, energy flows. So send your mind's eye to somewhere near your ankles. And let's start moving up to the knees. Keep your knees straight, not stiff. Move up all the way over the, the top of the crown of the head and then come right down to the tip of your palm. Now, inhale, raise your arms overhead, take your arms overhead, exhale, fold from the hip. So, hasta uttana, arms raised, this is the hasta, hands to feet, we're going to inhale and <clears throat> we're going to take a bit, actually I need to make sure I have some space in the back, so I'm going to wiggle forward a little bit, we're going to inhale and take the left foot back and then the right foot. So place your palms on the mat about a foot away from your feet. Take the left foot back and then the right foot. This is Parvat Asan. Parvat is mountain. It's also known as Adho Mukha Shwanasan. Adho is downward, Mukha is face, Shwana is dog, so downward facing dog. I think the whole of North America is familiar with that name. Now, keep breathing. This is a wonderful time to also start exhaling. You, if you have a stuffy nose, you want to drain your lungs, inversions are wonderful for that. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale, and then inhale, bring the right foot forward. Place your left knee on the floor, uncurl the toes in your left foot, and then come forward. Make, I want to make sure I'm on a padded section. And then make sure that you dip your hip. So bring your hip as close to the floor or the what they call the pelvic floor in some schools. Bring your hip close to the mat. Right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. This is Ashwa Sanchala. Ashwa Sanchala is equestrian. Exhale. Dip your left elbow over the right knee. We're including this is the extra addition we're doing in the sun salutation. Place your right palm over your left palm. Parsvakona Namaskara. Prayer twist. And the reason we are doing it, as we are holding, I'll explain to you briefly. The reason we are doing this extra twist, sun salutation traditionally covers every major muscle group, gland and organ in the body except the obliques. So now we want to make it totally complete. Let's inhale, come out of that. Place your palms beside your right foot. Curl the toes in in your left foot. Lift your knee off of the floor. Keep your butt where it is, keep your butt low. Take the right foot back in Danda Asan. Danda is plank. Very gently place your knees on the floor. Now we're gonna go into two postures, one after the other. We're gonna transition. 
As you exhale, dip your torso to the floor, inhale and come up. So when you're dipping down, that's Ashtanga Namaskara, we inhale, come up in Cobra or Bhujang. Exhale and dip. When you bend your elbows, make sure they're close to your body and glide out. Inhale, glide out, keep the tops of your feet flat on the floor. And if you want to test the strength of your back, you may want to lift your palms off of the floor. See if you can come up a little more. We are workshopping the sun salutation. Place your palms back on the floor. We are workshopping it for you. When you do it on your own as a flowing sequence, it should literally take you 60 seconds. Curl your toes in, press with your palms. Let's lift up, come in mountain position. Try to use your belly breathing. When you exhale, especially in this posture, in Parvatasana, it's a good time for you to release any tension, to drain your lungs, and use your lower abdomen. Inhale, bring the left foot forward and then the right foot. Inhale, left foot, bring the right foot forward, Pada Hasta. Place your palms together. Inhale, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Now you can bring your palms down in front of your chest or you can bring it down by your side. You can also do it, you can bring your palms out by the sides and then bring in front of your chest depending on how much space you have at home. If you're limited for space, you might want to do what Talisa just did. She brought her palms straight down. So you bring your palms down by your side. We're going to workshop this on the other side. Did we take the left foot back first? Right, the last time or was it the right foot? We did on Right, the twist, so it was a left foot. Okay, let's try, and if we make a mistake, we'll adjust ourselves, the body will tell us. Place your palms in front of your chest. Namaskar asan. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. Hasta uttana, arms raised. Exhale, fold from the hip. Pa the hasta, hands to feet. This time, take your right foot back, and then take your left foot back, and come in Parvat asan, mountain posture. Hold for a few seconds. You should feel a delicious stretch in your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Talisa, Josiane, and Jamie, do you guys feel it? Mm -hmm. Back of your legs. And the moment you place, for viewers at home, remember, when you place your heels on the floor, you should feel that stretch a little more. If you feel your heels are not going to touch the floor today, that's okay. Just make the connection. Place your heels on a little wash towel, a little block, whatever you want. Just Try not to suspend it in midair. Anything, any time your body is suspended in midair, tension builds up. You want to place your heels on the floor if you can. Let's inhale, bring the left foot forward. Place your right knee on the floor, uncurl the toes in the right foot, and flatten your right, the top of your right foot to the floor. I have to wiggle myself so I get some padding on my knee. Okay, now you've got your left knee up Keep exhaling, dip your hip closer to the floor. Left knee is up, inhale the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm over the right palm, Parswakona Namaskara. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. You should feel a wonderful, wonderful twist on the left side of your obliques. You should also feel a beautiful stretch on the right side of your obliques. Obliques are at your waistline. If you come out of a posture, don't get discouraged. Come right back in and hold. Inhale, let's come out of that. Place your palms beside your left foot. Curl the toes in in your right foot. Take the left foot to meet the right foot in plank position. Hold it. Now another way to test your strength in this position. Keep exhaling and bend your elbows just a little bit. Now, very gently, place your knees on the floor. We're going to combine two postures, one after the other. We're going to exhale and dip our torso to the ground. Inhale and come up. So it'll be Ashtanga Namaskara, straight into Bhujang or Cobra. Exhale and dip. Inhale, let's come up. And let's hold it for just a few seconds while you try to, we try to help you understand when you dip your torso to the floor, that posture is called Ashtanga Namaskara, Ashta Anga. Ashta is eight, Anga is limbs. Literally, it means eight limbs are connecting with the earth. So 
So the eight limbs literally would be when your chin goes down. It's chin, chest, hands, knees, and your toes. When you, you inhale and come up, lift your palms off for just a few seconds. So use your low back. Very nice. Exhale. Place your palms on the floor. Curl your toes in and lift your buttocks right off the floor in mountain posture. Inhale and lift. Keep inhaling, bring the right foot forward and then bring the left foot to meet it. Right foot comes forward, bring the left foot forward. Inhale, place your palms together, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Now, if you can feel your whole body heating up when we finish this, actually, no, you know what? Let me ask our participants how they feel. How do you feel? I feel warmed up. You feel warmed up already? I took off my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You thought the studios would be really cold, right? Actually, they are a little colder. I remember we were talking, but they're a little colder than usual. Jamie, how do you feel? Great. Great. My back is loosening up. It's loosening up already? If you're feeling warmed up after this posture, and I'm sure Josiane is because I can hear her side. She's just enjoying the whole thing. <laughs> if you feel warmed up, all it is is what we call the chakras arising. That the, when you feel that energy rising, the body warms and you feel an internal sweat. So yes, it's nice to be able to sweat from the outside, but I think it's even better to sweat from the inside because when you have internal sweat, you really are giving yourself a wonderful workout. So how are we doing for time? Where are we? We have another 10 minutes, so we're doing well. So we'll try and take you through another two rounds. And we'll try to stay with this. If we remember, we'll add the extra posture, the Veera Bhadra. Mm -hmm. Josian saw this at some school, you said? Mm -hmm. At a school. They include an extra posture, Jamie. So you may not be up to date with this. You haven't been with us in a while. Mm -hmm. What Yoga Express did was we added that twist to give our obliques a bit of a stretch. Mm -hmm. Josian has seen one more. So when we finish that twist, and you're going to talk us through in that section. When we finish the twist, we're going to also come out into Brave Warrior. We did that last yes, time, it really worked nice. well. So let's try that one more time. We'll try and do three rounds of sun salutation with you today. The plank or the mountain before. All right, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It'll probably yes. flow quite naturally. And if we make a mistake, it's okay. We'll try and take you right back in. One way or another, we're getting a stretch, so we should be okay. And if we make a mistake on one side, we'll make sure we make a mistake on the other side. So you stay balanced. Mm -hmm. Palms in front of your chest, heels are together, toes slightly apart. Close your eyes for just a few seconds. Feel how your body moves. Is it swaying to the right or to the left? Can you center yourself? Okay, keep your elbows lifted. When your elbows are lifted, you stay alert. You could flop your elbows. Not only does it look sloppy, it also means that your attention is easily diverted. So keep your elbows up. Keeps you nice and alert. Inhale the arm up. Open your eyes now. Inhale. Exhale. Fold from the hip. Take the, place your palms on the floor about 12 inches away from your feet. Take the left foot back and then take the right foot back in mountain posture. Now we're going to slowly build towards adding one extra posture. While we're in this posture, this is also wonderful rest posture. While we're in this posture, we'd like to remind you sun salutation is a sequence of 12 postures. Usually it's six plus six repeats or seven plus five repeats or eight plus four repeats. Thanks to Josian, we probably have nine plus three repeats in this particular sequence. So we're gonna inhale, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. This time, as we inhale, we're gonna bring our right foot forward. Inhale, the right foot forward. Uncurl the toes in your left foot. Very gently place your left knee on the floor and uncurl the toes. And let's come back just a little bit. Let's ease off just a little bit. This is Ashwa Sanchala. Ashwini is horse in Sanskrit. Ashwa Sanchala, like a horse or equestrian posture. Right knee is up, so the left arm goes up. Inhale, the left arm up. Parsakona Namaskara, we're going to get into that. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place the right palm over your left palm. Look up at your raised elbow. 
Try to keep dipping forward. The more you dip forward, the deeper will be your stretch in the front of your upper left thigh. Now, let's ease off just a little bit. Inhale, let's ease off a little bit. This time, we're gonna place our palms on the floor and try to include Josian's, hi Wally, we're gonna include Josian's Veera Bhadra, brave warrior. Un uh, curl your toes in in the left foot and let's come straight up into Brave Warrior. Lift your knee off of the floor, turn your left foot to the side, arms out. Does that look right, Josian? Yes. Beautiful, yes, and it was quite <laughs> smooth too. Keep exhaling. If you feel a little bit of pressure on your knees, you can ease off a little bit, come right back in. Every time you go down, keep exhaling. Now let's take our hands right back on the floor. Curl your toes in your left foot. Let's take the right foot back in plank. We are in plank now, so you don't want to raise your butt too much. Very gently place your knees on the floor. We're going to exhale and inhale. Exhale into Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale into Bhujang or Cobra. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide your knees out and let's come up. Just a little bit of a test. Make sure we're working our low back. Lift your palms off of the floor. Place your palms back on the floor. Curl your toes in. And curl your toes in and push. Lift your buttocks off of the floor in mountain posture. Back into mountain. Inhale. Bring your right foot forward and then the left. Pada hasta. Hands up together. Inhale your arms out and up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Very nice. Now you might notice, we've only done one side, we're still going to do the other side. You might notice when we bring, when Jamie and I brought our arms out to the side, we're giving ourselves a little more of a stretch and the back, the latissimus, the big latissimus muscles, we really bring it out. That gets a little bit of a tightening as well, so it actually feels good. So for some of us, it may feel a little better to do it out, but also when you bring it down, it's okay because it's, in fact, that's equally good because you're actually focusing and you're centering yourself much quicker than when we bring our arms out. So either way, we are gaining something. We are definitely doing something for our body. Now, we, let's not forget the other side. Palms are together in front of the chest. Heels together, toes slightly apart. Now, just for now, I might stagger myself. Inhale, take your arms all the way overhead. Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms about 12 inches away from your feet, in front of your feet. Take the right leg back and then the left leg back. Mountain posture. So we did Namaskar Asana. We started with prayer, went up, Hasta Uttana. That arms raised, we came down into Pada Hasta, hands to feet, and now we are in Parvatas, and Parvatas Mountain. This time we're going to bring the left foot forward, inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Place your right knee on the floor, uncurl the toes in your right foot, so the tops of your foot, right, the top of your right foot is flat on the floor, and let's ease off just a little bit. We are in Ashwa Sanchala. Ashwini is horse, as you might remember. Left knee is up, right arm goes up. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, dip the right elbow over the left. This is Parswakona Namaskara. Place the left palm over the right palm. Look up at your raised elbow. You wanna hold that? Hold it and if you wanna feel a little more of an intense stretch, you might wanna wiggle your left foot forward so that you feel a little more of a stretch on your upper right thigh. And your pelvis will be closer to the floor. Let's ease off a little bit. Place your palms beside your left foot. Curl the toes in in the right foot. Take your left foot back to meet the right. Keep both your knees off of the floor. Plank position, Dandasan. Exhale, place your knees gently on the floor. Keep exhaling as we dip into Ashtanga Namaskara and then we inhale, come right out into Cobra. Exhale and dip. Inhale, let's come up, flatten your feet, uncurl your toes, keep your elbows close to your body, lift your palms off of the floor for just a few seconds and look up. Place your palms back 
on the floor. Curl your toes in, forehead to the ground. Let's inhale, peel your buttocks off of the floor into mountain position. Inhale and lift. Every time, every time we come into mountain position, I want you to take advantage of this moment to get a few extra breaths in. This is a wonderful, wonderful moment to relax as well. Inhale, bring the right foot forward and then the left foot forward to meet it. Palms together. Inhale the arms up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Very nice. We now some we reaction. Missed a, we missed our warrior. We did. We did it on the other side, but we missed it. Why did you call out? All right. <laughs> Josiane is not going to let me hear the end of it, so we're going to do this. <laughs> okay. No, no, that, well, we're going to do it a third time. I apologize. We'll do the warrior twice in that. But no, that's a good point because I normally we don't have it in the sequence. So even as soon as we finish the twist, go right. back and we do the warrior. Yeah, that's right. We should have. Okay. No, no, but that's good. It's good that you are alert enough to notice that because I totally forgot. <laughs> but that's good. Okay, the next time we go and just so our body doesn't feel the imbalance, we're going to do the sun salutation a third time. We'll get into the warrior, get back and get right back into it on when we do the other side, right? Yes. It was the warrior on the left side. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Thank you. I knew Josiane always knows how to wrap me back in place. <laughs> okay, heels are together, toes slightly apart. You should call out if we make a mistake. We want to correct it right away. Palms in front of your chest. We're going to take you through one last round of the sun salutation. Inhale the arms up. So from Namaskarasana, it goes up to Hasta Uttana. Hasta Uttana is arms raised. Exhale, fold from the hip into Pada Hasta, hands to feet. This is the third round, so this time place your hands in front of your feet about 12 inches away. Take the left foot back and then the right foot goes back into mountain posture. Let's hold. Exhale through your abdominal region. Try and do that. Do a few abdominal exhales. Remember, inhale happens. Keep exhaling whenever you can. Great for detoxing. Let's inhale and bring the right foot forward. Ashwa Sanchala, place the left knee on the floor, uncurl the toes in your left foot, and let's ease off just a little bit. Right here, in this posture alone, we already feel very nice and center. Don't we, Jamie? Don't you mm. feel that? I can see it in your body language, too. <laughs> You're feeling very, very secure, very centered. And this is a great posture. It's also a great rest position, but at the same time, it's a very active rest position. So inhale, right arm is, right knee is up, left arm goes up. Inhale. Exhale, dip the left elbow over the right. Place the right palm over the left palm. Hold for just a few seconds. With every little exhale, you might want to dip forward just a little more. Let's come out of that posture. And this time, Josie and I have not forgotten. We're going to place our palms beside our right foot. Curl your toes in, in the left foot. Turn your foot a little at an angle and you'll notice when you come up. Let's come up into warrior position. Let's come up into warrior. Happy Josie and we yes. remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the other side we'll do it twice. We'll sort of release and go back just so we feel a balance. Now remember, if the pressure is a little intense on your knee, on your right knee, on the bent knee, you may want to ease off, come right back in. When you ease off, it's inhale.